guys. Um, so um, we are going to talk today about uh, simplifying the algebraic algebraic expression. Sorry. Um, there are two steps to simplifying algebraic expressions. So first, we have to remove parentheses by using the distributive property. And the second is we need to combine like terms by adding coefficients. So these are things that we've already practiced. Um, and we are just going to use them as we simplify algebraic expressions. So um, what I'd like for you to do is let's go ahead and write our first expression here. And that expression is, let's see, there we go, negative 4, parentheses, 3x, positive 7, or plus 7, close parentheses, plus 4x, minus 12. Okay, that's the one we're going to do there. And then we have this other one on this side, it's going to be, negative 4 minus 3 parentheses negative 10 x plus 6 close parentheses plus 8x okay so the way that we do this is it's kind of a checklist we say okay do we have this um do we need to use distributive property first and if we do we do that if there's no distributive property then we don't have to do it i just gave you big ones where we'd have to do both but sometimes you don't have to do both of them so let's look at this problem first so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look and see do we have distributive property and we do so we know from our um previous lessons that we would distribute this negative four to this positive 3x and remember that this is also positive 7 so we would distribute it there as well okay so to do that we do negative 4 times positive 3x so remember negative times a positive is going to be a negative and we just multiply 12 and we're going to bring that variable over and then we have a negative 4 times a positive 7 so negative times a positive is a negative and we would just multiply then 4 times 7, which is 28. That's us using our distributive property. And we're going to just bring down the rest of what we have. Okay? So we've done that. Now we look and see, do we have like terms? As a reminder, um, because I've had some people recently struggling with like terms, um, as a reminder, like terms means that you have to have the same variable and the same um, exponent or neither of those okay so remember we have an x term here we have an x term here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to list those so i see all right i have a negative 12x i'm gonna list that there and i'm done with this one okay then I have a negative 28. Well, that's a constant. It does not have a variable. And so I'm going to put it over here, negative 28. And I'm done with that one. Now, some of y'all might not need to do these individual, individual steps, but I'm just putting them there just in case you do. Then I've got a negative 4x. Well, I see that's an x term. Here's my x terms. So that negative 4x, I'm going to cancel that out. Then we have negative 12. And... I see that's a constant. I'm going to put that with the negative 12. Okay, so now I have grouped my like terms. Now all I need to do is combine them. So when I combine these, I see that I have two negatives. So that means I'm just going to have a ton of negatives. So I would do, um, I know my sign is going to be a negative, and then I would have 12 plus 4, which is 16, and my x's stay like that. We don't, um, the only thing we combine really are our coefficients, not our variables. Okay, so that one is negative 16x. Uh -huh. just, I'm looking at my old notes. I just noticed I copied this down wrong. Look. Oops. So we're going to do this then. Just go back up to the top and do this. We'll just make that a negative. It'll be all good. Then I'm going to combine these. I have two, a bunch of negatives again, so I know my answer is going to stay negative, and then I combine those, and 2 plus 28 is 30, plus 10 is 40, and it'd be negative 40. And this is your simplified. That's as far as you can go. A negative 16x minus 40. So that's, that's it. That's all you do, and that's your final answer. Okay? All right. 
Let's look at another one. <clears throat> so this time we have negative 4 minus 3x, then all the stuff in the parentheses, plus 8x. Well, this negative 4, well, what we're going to think about first, do we have distributive property? Yes, we do, because we have these two parentheses here. Then we need to think about what are we distributing. We are distributing this negative 3 because it is right in front or is attached to those parentheses without an operation. You notice this one has an operation between it, so that's why it would be this one that we're distributing. So we're going to distribute it here. We have that negative 10x, and we're going to distribute it here. We have a positive 6, okay? So I'm going to bring down what is not related to the pink first. I'm going to bring this negative 4 down, okay? Then I'm going to do, I know a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. <coughs> 3 times 10 is 30, and then I have that x as well. All right, now I'm going to distribute to the second one. Negative times a positive is a negative. 3 times 6 is 18, and I'm done with that. But then I have this additional positive 8x that I'm bringing there. Okay, so I have distributed, done the distributive property now, so I can check that off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine my like terms, and I'm going to start off by grouping them. I have a constant here, so I have a negative 4. Uh, this one, they are not the same, so I'm going to put this positive 30x over here. I have a negative 18 that is a constant, and then I have a positive 8x, which is also an, an x term. Okay, and I'm just going to combine them. So I would see I have lots of negatives again, um, so I know that the sign's going to stay negative, and then I add, so 18 plus 4 is 22, and then I would have a lot of positives here, so I'm going to add, I'm just going to keep all the positives, and 30 plus 8 is 38, and your x stays there. You can do it like that, or you could put 38x minus 22, and either way, um, it means the same thing. So both of these mean the same thing. So um, that is all we do to combine like terms. Um, we will be working on combining these together. So um, that's simple, or not combining like terms, I'm sorry, simplifying algebraic expressions. That's all we do to do that. So.